ఫర్ మోర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అండ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అప్డేట్స్ ప్లీజ్ విజిట్ మై వెబ్సైట్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ గో టు టైప్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ ఇన్ గూగుల్ సో దట్ మై వెబ్సైట్ విల్ బి ఓపెన్ హియర్ లైక్ దిస్ సో విచ్ ఇస్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ డీటెయిల్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ టాపిక్స్ సో ప్లీజ్ ఫాలో మై వెబ్సైట్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అనాలిసిస్ అండ్ డిజైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ Uh, G plus 6 story apartment structure by using ETAP software. So initially I will show you the model which I was already done for the uh, G plus 6 story apartment structure which is consisting of 4 flats in each floor. I was already done the modeling process for the respected building structure. Initially I will show you the model and specification which are considered for the building. Okay. So click on the ETAP software here. So this is my model. It will be consisting of your respected flat number one here on the left hand side section which is of west facing direction. Again this is the flat number two on the right hand side section. It is also west facing. Again it will be consisting of two flats in east facing direction. So this is the free space which is generally used for uh, staircases purpose and this is the staircases purpose. This is the lift provision purpose. This is the lift provision purpose. Okay. So firstly I will show you the material property. Go to click on define option material property. For this building, I was taken M30 grade concrete and HYSD bars of 500 grade provision. Click on cancel option. Again, in the same process, I was consider the frame sections, which is consisting of two category of the column sizes, which is consisting of 0.46 cross 0.46 and 0.35 cross 0.46. Again, I was taken the beam size, which is consisting of 0.35 cross 0.35. In the same process, I was taken the slab thickness, which is consisting of approximately the dimensions is 150 mm okay so i was taken the load cases which are comes under the uh, dead loading condition live loading condition earthquake loading condition and wind loading condition system okay so now initially i will do the analysis process for this particular structure under considerations of the load cases and load combination so for that go to click on the analyze option so click on the set load cases to run option click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this building then after that i will show you the uh, how to uh, check the shear force diagram bending moment diagram and how to design this structure by using csi detailing so now we can see the model was done with all the analysis process this is the deflection diagram so in order to the shear force diagram so click on the display option so forces select the ps pandela force select shear to toe option click on apply option so that it will load the shear force diagram for this particular structure so again i am selecting moment 33 option click on apply so that it will load the bending moment diagram for this particular structure under considerations of the load cases so select the torsion option click on apply option so now it will load the torsion for this particular structure under considerations of the dead load so after analysis process completed we need to design this structure so for that firstly we have to add the strip condition system for the slab so for that initially i am unlocking my model so go to click on the edit option here on the top so click on the edit option here select the add edit strip condition click on add edit strip select the story number 7 click on apply option so that it will apply the 7 uh, story in x direction strip condition again in the same process i am selecting the strip condition will be of y direction with the seventh floor with the strip a is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip in y direction with the b layer in y again in the same process i am selecting the story number is 6 number here okay select the sixth number direction will be of x and a click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system in x direction for the sixth story in the same process i am selecting the grid uh, dimensions section will be of y direction with strip layer is b option click on apply option so that it will apply the y direction strip condition here in the same process we need to apply the strip condition system for the remaining floors So after applying all the strip condition system, we need to do the analysis process again for the building structure with the help of the strip condition system. For that click on the analyze option, set load cases to run option again, again click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process again for the building structure under considerations of the strip. Now you can see this is the deflection diagram with the help of the strip condition system. So now we have to do the designing for this respected building. So for that go to click on the uh, design option, click on the concrete frame design, select the view revised preferences initially, select the IS codal provision standard here, click on OK. So again in the same process we have to click on the design option, concrete frame design, select uh, start designing check for the frame sections so that it will check the start designing check for the uh, respected beams and columns for the designing process. Now you can see it was checking horizontal section which are comes under the beams, then after that it will check for the columns vertical section for the members.
it was done with frame section design now we have to design a slab section go to click on this uh, select the view revised preferences option select uh, is 456 2000 code click on ok option again in the same process we have to select this option click on select your uh, stories for the design this time selecting the story from 7th to 1 click on ok option so again we have to select this uh, designing so click on the start designing check for the slab so that it will start designing check for the slab section under considerations of the story from 1 to 7 So now we can see this is a strip uh, slab strip design layer for the respected bottom and top reinforcement intensity. So now we have to save this model control S option. So after saving the model is completed. Now we have to do the detailing process in CSI detailing version software. Okay. So for that just I am opening here CSI detailing software. So click on the file option. So click on the new detailing option. So firstly we have to select the model. Just I am selecting my G plus 6 story building model. So initially the model will be open in uh, ETAP software then after that it will be directly imported to CSI detailing software. Now we can see it was uh, extracting the uh, values which are related to the grids, stories, joints as well as the frames. Then after that it will be extract your respected uh, shell sections for the building. So after the importing process completed we need to select some of the values in this respected uh, detailing option select the detailing units initially select the forces will be in kilo newton so initially we need to select the load will be in ton option so click on ok option so before that we need to select the uh, metric si system which is of si system click on ok select the preferences option use uh, standard preferences initially is of uh, 456 2000 click on ok again we have to click on the concrete frame design so select this option is b Again, I am selecting this option is C. Again, this is option is wall option. Click on OK. Select the concrete display for references. You can select as per your consideration. Just I am selecting directly rebar rules option. So select the minimum cover spacing is 120 mm and maximum will be of 450 here. Again, in the same process, just I am selecting here as 120. This is also 120 option. Again, I am selecting here 120. This is 450 value here for this particular section. Okay. Again, I am selecting this 450. Again, I am selecting here as 450 value. Column section again select here. Again, I am selecting this minimum spacing option is 120 and maximum will be a 450. Click on OK option. So after that, we have to click on the OK option directly so that it will do the detailing process in CSI detailing software. Then after that, I will show you different uh, reinforcement values which is involved on the slab section, beam sections, column section for the G plus 6 story apartment structure. So now we can see it was done with the detailing process. The left hand side will be consisting of some of the options comes under the selection property of the uh, floor framing plan for the sixth story. And this is the rebar plan for the uh, top story. This is a rebar plan for the uh, slab. Again, this is the top rebar plan. So it will load the values for the respected top rebar plan. Then after that, I will show you the bottom rebar plan. So click on the bottom rebar plan so that it will load the bottom rebar plan for the seventh slab section again in the same process i am selecting all bars option so that it will load the all bars required for this respected seventh slab section in the same process i will select the rebar cage view for this particular section next i am selecting rebar cage view option okay so that it will load the rebar cage view for the g plus uh, six apartment structure in both horizontal direction as well as the vertical direction So now we can see it was loaded with rebar plan option here like this for the slab section. So now we have to select the beam detailing, concrete beam section, elevation section. This time selecting 7th floor, 8B1. This time selecting select section A so that it will load the section A reinforcement details. This is a section B, section C, section D, E, F. Okay. So directly just I am selecting rebar KG option so that it will load the rebar KG for this particular uh, beam section so it will be consisting of complete reinforcement details here like this in the same process I am selecting the column here this time selecting the elevation section so C1 this time selecting here so now we can see it is consisting of approximately uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 number of the bars of 18 mm diameter okay so this is the section B for this respected section click on the rebar KGV option so that it will load the rebar KGV for this particular section of the column which is comes under the uh, 480 uh, sorry 460 mm cross 460 mm cross section column okay this is the rebar KGV for the column in the same process I am selecting 7 uh, sorry C7 next I am selecting A 
So now we can see this is the rebar values for the particular second column which is consisting of 460 cross 350 mm. Okay, this is the B, this is the C. Click on the rebar KGV option. Again, it will load the rebar KGV for this particular structure from the ground to the uh, last floor. Okay, so it will be consisting of approximately the bars here like this. Okay, so this is the reinforcement diagram for the column section. Okay, so this is the complete process of analysis and detailing of uh, G plus 6 apartment structure by using uh, ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.